And our coverage continues live from City Hall downtown. I'm Derek Shore. And I am Courtney Savala. We are so glad to be with you today on this special day of welcoming the world champs into city, into the Houston uh, city limits, really, for this major parade, along with a few thousand friends to say hello. I mean, this place is jam. Pack. Tens of thousands, I think, would be <clears throat> a little more accurate, right? And the crowd continues to grow by the minute. In fact, we just got word that this parade route has been expanded by a couple blocks simply because the crowd continues to grow. Literally by the minute, we have watched our entire surroundings here, Courtney, fill up. It has been fantastic. Let me give you the lay of the land, of course. We are right at City Hall, the Reflection Pond, if you could see it. But there's so many, a sea of orange now behind us. But these, this is the main stage where all the players are going to be introduced. The trophy is going to be hoisted up after the parade. There's a big list of people that are going to speak, uh, including Jim Crane, A.J. Hinch, a few players. And the and, mayor as well. And a couple performances, ZZ Top maybe, you know, Billy Gibbons. I mean, this is a party. This is a national holiday oh, for Oh, it certainly city. is. And because the kids are not in school... It makes it even better. It does not feel like a Friday. Definitely a day for the history books. And listen, we're going to be live here for hours. We've got some great guests coming up on today's show, uh, including, I'm going to tell you the story behind this ring. This is actually the Yankees World Series ring. We're going to have a guest, the man behind this design, and who hopes to design the Astros ring. We've seen the mock-ups, they're gorgeous, and we're going to show you later today. That's right, and we are dealing with summer-like temperatures. We have fans blowing on us. Let's get the latest with weather now with Cambrell, who's standing by. And i got to tell you, it's a steamy one out here. No one's complaining, now, but it is hot. Well, uh, yeah, I am, I'm feeling you. So, yeah, well, I need a fan, too. I'm glad you have a fan that's going to be on you for the afternoon. Take a look outside. It's overcast for everybody. So you've got a lot of cloud cover out there. That's not the issue, though. The temperature is going to be the issue. We're still at 82 degrees at Bush. Katie's at 84. Hobby's at 83. Our normal high temperature for this time of the year is 77 degrees. So we're already five degrees above that at Bush Intercontinental. So much warmer than normal. Tonight's going to stay warm and humid. And then throughout the day for tomorrow, it's going to be staying.